Ooh. I'm gonna have to put the butter counter on this one. Hey guys, thanks for joining us for your dose of Weekly Whiskey with John and Jay. Weekly Whiskey is made on Mackie. If you'd like to find out more about the top-notch studio gear we're using, you can find it on Mackie.com. All right, and with that, let's go ahead and dive on into the whiskey. We got a new box in the mail this week. It's rare that we get mail the same time since you're, you're kind of out there in Maine, but... I'm way out there, man. Uh, we got a shiny box in the mail. What uh, what was inside, John? A new brand reached out to us, Ben Holiday. They've decided to roll out their new six-year bourbon. We're going to give that a little taste tonight. Check it out. looks about like this in the glass. Uh, it's actually got some great color to it. Yeah, it's kind of, I can't tell if it's modern yet old style. It reminds me of some of those Heaven Hill kind of bottled and bond, but they make no bones about it. This is Ben Holiday's bottled and bond Missouri whiskey. Yeah, so we've got a bottled and bond Missouri whiskey coming out of Missouri DSP 5. And it is non-chill filtered. Going to be right at 100 proof, obviously being bottled and bond. And we're getting a little bit of a blend here of the higher warehouse floors. Uh, what, 79% of this batch is from the fifth floor and 21% is from the first floor. So this should be, I would think, pretty well rounded here. I'm ready to get in. Now, I have to admit, while you're tasting that, um, and no disrespect to Ben Holiday, I had never heard of these folks until the day they reached out and said, hey, you guys want to try some Missouri whiskey? And I thought, that's interesting. I didn't know many people were making Missouri whiskey, but they've been doing this for at least six years. So they've, they've been around for a minute, um, which, you know, Good on them for not rushing it, but holy I'm ready shit, to get in. That's nice. Mm. Oh boy, we're gonna have to pull out the butter counter. That that is like buttery toffee all day. Oh yeah, buttery toffee is a good way to look at that. I there's a really good charred oak element in there that's still sweet. It doesn't get dry. Who knows what this would be like at eight years? But I would be willing to bet that this is right in your the the J oak sensitivity level of uh, like the three little bears. This is the just right one for you. Right, yeah, this is this is what a uh, little Goldie J locks would be going for. It's not, it's not young. It's not too oaky. It's not too dry. This is like buttery pancakes. It has kind of a almost a knob creak. This reminds me of like if old granddad bottom bun was better. Man, I almost just shot whiskey out of my fucking eyes when you said Goldie J or whatever the, whatever you just said there. I had, I had to try really hard to block it out because I almost just shot this out of my eyes. This is really nice. I won't call it, it's not like mega complex, but what there is really enjoyable. Plenty of oak, you know, it's not shy on oak, but it's sweet, it's light, buttered popcorn. It kind of reminds me, big thing in Chicago is that Garrett's, you know, caramel corn, buttery popcorn. Uh, and a nice, the finish isn't too long, it's not too short, but it's very sippable, uh, really, really easy drinking. Yeah, I'm catching some good red fruits in this too, kind of mixing in like a little bit of uh, jam, on some buttery toast too. Oh, let's let's call a spade a spade. For a brand I never heard of until last week, I am really impressed. This is not only is it well aged; it's six years old. Like I think it's it's a great choice to blend those upper warehouse floors, those lower warehouse floors. It has the complexity, easy to drink, and it's not even that expensive. For you know, this I don't know how much they're making. I want to go talk to them after this and see like, do you have a million barrels? Do you have twelve? But how many barrels exist? Right, it seems like they're kind of ready to take the market, and they've they've got the quality to do it. That's that's really the long and short of it. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, like you said, for a brand that I had zero experience with prior to this tasting, right now, I, mean, I just opened this bottle. I didn't even taste this ahead of time, and I am thoroughly impressed with what they're doing. And coming right out of the gate at six years, I think is a very good choice. I mean, how often do we see something come out and be like, you know, it's good for its age, but just wish it was a little bit older. I, I think this is like ready to rock straight out. I could not agree more. And a final detail too. Gosh, I just love freaking screw cap. Like, thank you guys. None of these weird corks, cork shortage, like easy to get into. Nice bottle design. Uh, that's all I have to say. I'm a fan. I, apparently I like Missouri whiskey. It's the first I've tried in thousands of whiskeys for whiskey raiders, but uh, I'm looking forward to more. Missouri, thank you very much. With that note, why don't we go ahead and close it out, John? I'm kind of just going to go drink Missouri whiskey for the rest of the night. Yep, I'm with you on that. I'm sold on this stuff. It, it is tasty whiskey, and you've got yourself a buyer now. Missouri, you've done a good job. So, on that note, 
I want to say thank you guys for catching your dose of weekly whiskey with John and Jay. Yeah, if you guys enjoy this content, if you enjoy other whiskey reviews, coverage, if you want to become part of our community, talk to us on a daily basis, or just learn more about what we're doing, you can find us over at patreon.com slash the whiskey net. If you want to check out our studio sponsor, Mackie, you can find them on Instagram at Mackie Gear or on their website, Mackie.com. And last but not least, if you're looking for more whiskey coverage from John, you can find him over at the Bourbon Finer. Dot com, a great website. He's got reviews of all these products as well. Um, and as always, I am Jay from WhiskeyRaiders.com, where the Rotten Tomatoes whiskey. I'll have a review of this up soon. And until next time, cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs>